I'm about to show you how you can record vocals like NBA Youngboy. We're looking at the auto-tune settings, the vocal change settings, looking at how he punches in. And one of my subscribers sent me this session. I don't know where it came from. First thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at the auto-tune settings. The auto-tune settings that Youngboy used for this song, the retune speed is 7, D minor, auto tenor, D tune at 440, mix at 100, vibrato there, humanize there, flex tune there. That's it. Young boy settings are very simple. It's a seven. Just so y'all know, it's young boy. So. Taliban, I get a bitch to make him buy it. He got there and then a victim fell us off of my end. So hook one is going to this bus right here, and on the bus we have a ways plugin. That's um Renaissance EQ six. So yeah, that's that right there. So if you want to screenshot these settings, you can right now. Like just screenshot it right now. Um. Then we're going to look at the 76. If you want those settings, screenshot that. Then we go to the SSLE channel and default preset. A couple of tweaks here. Um, screenshot this as well. And then we have a de -esser. The frequency for the de is 8.7, negative 5 dBs on the range. And it's a stock plugin. So we have a Waze plugin, Waze plugin, Waze plugin, stock plugin. All right. Um, people are going to ask, like, what's on the Master Fader, SSL, G Comp right here, L2 right here, negative 3.1, negative um, 0.1, 24-bits type 1, normal shaping. Now that we got some of the settings out of the way, let's look at how he records vocals. All right, at the hook section, we have punches, and the punches look clean. We got the fades. Everything looks consistent. Um, nothing too crazy going on with that. And we see we have libs down here. We see how everything is organized here. So on one of the libs, we got them going to the right. And then another lib, we're going to the left, creating some space in it to make it wider. 43, 43. We got the volume tucked down to negative 3.9. Uh, let's see. Do we have some dubs? Yeah. It's not really dubs, but we got like some runs right here, like some ins and outs. That's why I like to call them more runs, because they like hidden, right? It's only two of them here. And then as we see, they flew the hook over. And when you're in Pro Tools, it's always perfect to organize everything and have everything here. So you can fly hooks and you just know how to bounce around in the sessions. We got three hooks. Everything looks the same. So let's look at the hook real many times. Let's play it. So, uh and see we got negative nine here we got zero here then we got plus nine here zero 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 nothing just little tweaks it's nothing crazy going on with the vocals the vocals were recorded good sound good clean vocals not too much going on and a lot of people are like yo how you get clean vocals it's like you got to record the clean vocals they're not just gonna get cleaned up in the mix you got to record good shit all right so now let's just jump down to the verse so the thing with the verse vox we got the same plugins the same as that plugins it's a seven here um on the rvox the same thing same plugins nothing special on vox one two like third plugin, all of it's the same. It looks like split is turned on on this one. I'm not sure if it was turned on on the last one, but we can see that. Then we go over here to the verse. We see how the verse goes. We have the main here. We have some runs here or the ins and outs right here. Not too many of them going on. The ad lib, same thing. They're pan to the left. They're pan to the right. Um, negative 4.7, negative 5.9 on that. Uh, the ins and outs, they're pulled down to like negative 10. So like if I play this back, why is it? Yeah. <laughs> so like if people want add, it was like young boy, he's not doing nothing crazy. Like it's just auto tune, reverb here, uh, pan on that right there. Like they stack. You see that? Like a simple telephone effect. Nothing too crazy. Like a lot of people are like, yo, he's got to be doing something special, something secret. Like, they're not doing nothing crazy. Like, a lot of the artists record the same way for the most part. They're recording. The sound, the preset, the template that you're looking for, it depends on the artist. The artist does most of the work. It's their voice. So, the presets and shit is tweaked to their voice. Um, 
Let's see. Let's find some of this reverb. Um, okay, so the hard reverb. That's the delay. So that's the delay. We got the spring reverb right here with the preset. Spring reverb. Um, echo verb. And then we go right here. Cathedral. Cathedral. Church. Um, doubler. Basic doubler. The hall is the Valhalla Vintage Verb. And yeah, random hall. All right. Then we go to the plate verb. I don't think it's turned on. Oh, so a little plate. This is a Sound Toys plugin. So yeah, it's like the plugins are simple. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Like a lot of people be thinking like it's a lot of like extra ass shit that goes into play when these people record. It's not though. Because we can see he punched in, and it's just like the punches are clean, the energy is clean, and the reason why I'm not playing the whole song, because I don't want the video to get copyright struck, because Atlantic don't be bullshitting when it comes to uh, NBA Youngboy music. But, yeah, we just looking at it, just see what's going on. But the settings, simple, ways plugins and stop plugins, Auto-Tune Pro, um, punch in. Not too much going crazy on the processing. No automation, no stacks going crazy. Like, it's simple. Like, Youngboy records very simple. It's nothing that you should be, like, stressing yourself out over. So, like, if you want to sound like Youngboy, it's not hard at all. Like, but you're not, <laughs> it's like, so if you want to sound like Youngboy, it's not hard at all. But trust me, you're not going to sound like him because he sounds like him unless you like from Baton Rouge and you talk like that. You're not going to be able to really sound like him because the settings don't even matter. Again, like this is the EQ. This is the compressor. This is the SSL E channel. And this is the DS. -er. So like even if you have these same exact settings, if your energy is not there, you don't have the accent, you don't have the tone, the cadence, you're not going to sound like Youngboy. But you can screenshot the settings and try it out for yourself. 